What's up guys, Nick Scripp here to talk to you about my 2023 QB strategy. If I do not want to pay the price of Patrick Mahomes, Jalen Hurts, and Josh Allen, who are all top 30 picks in redraft. I have two quarterbacks that have QB1 overall upside without paying the same draft capital as those three guys. The first guy is Justin Fields the number one rushing quarterback from 2022. He was the QB six overall in the season, averaged 20.5 fantasy points per game, but weeks six through 18, he averaged 24.8 fantasy points per game when Chicago really geared their playbook around Justin Fields. He had five top five finishes last season, and you ask yourself, hey, is the upside really there with how little Chicago threw last season? But here's a couple reasons why. They had eight one-score games. They had the first overall draft pick in 2023. So that just shows you where they were at. The wide receiver room was very weak. There was a time that Chase Claypool and Darnell Mooney were both out of action. Justin Fields was throwing to Dante Pettis and St. Brown and, and not the good one. The offensive line was also terrible last season. This offseason, they addressed a few of these things, so I don't think that they're going to be as bad as last season. Wide receivers, we still have Chase Claypool and Darnell Mooney now healthy, Cole Komet for the tight end position. Then they add DJ Moore as their alpha wide receiver, which Fields did not have last season. They also addressed this O-line. Mike Clay ranked them number 13 in May, which is a huge improvement versus what they had last season. The second quarterback on my list here with QB1 overall upside is Lamar Jackson. Last season, he lit the fantasy world on fire across the first three weeks. In two out of three of those first games, he had 40 plus fantasy points just showing you what he does for the fantasy world. He's had four straight seasons of 20 plus fantasy points. We know back in 2019, he was that quarterback one overall. So he has that on his resume. We can lock him in pretty much every season, even if he misses time for 700 plus rushing yards. This off season, he got paid to be back in Baltimore. He has the best weapons of his career. J.K. Dobbins is now healthy and further removed from that injury. You have two former first round wide receivers now. We have Zay Flowers from this year's draft, and then we have Rashad Bateman. We have Odell Beckham Jr. who brings that veteran presence to the wide receiver room. And then of course, Mark Andrews, who is one of the league's best tight ends. These two guys were the number one and number two quarterbacks this past season in the percentage of games played with 50 plus rushing yards. So we know that they have that in the bag. They are being drafted outside the top 35 for the quarterback position. So you don't have to invest what you do in these guys. But in my opinion, these are two quarterbacks with the rushing upside with an improved situation that can deliver QB1 overall upside in 2023. So these are two guys I will be targeting in my drafts if I play to win.